Riley B. King, better known as B.B. King, dedicated the majority of his life to singing the blues. The Mississippi native created a unique sound that's instantly recognizable to millions. And throughout the over 70 years of his career, he strummed his guitar as his powerful voice sang about lust and lost love. His most popular song, the 1969 track, The Thrill Is Gone, has since solidified his title as a music legend. The Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient, and 15-time Grammy winner lived a scandal-free life away from the public eye. But it wasn't until his May 14, 2015 passing that many people realized B.B. was a rolling stone and was getting it in behind the scenes. This is a story about two marriages, 15 children by 15 different women, and a bombshell claim about his possible infertility. Before we get started, don't forget to grab something to eat at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of tender and delicious brisket beef jerky and bacon jerky. Okay, now let's jump into today's mess. To get a better understanding of B.B.'s life, we have to take you way back. His parents got divorced when he was five, and he and his mom moved into a cabin on a plantation with other family members. When he was nine, his mom passed away, and eventually, when his grandmother passed away as well, 14-year-old B.B. was left to fend for himself. He briefly reunited with his dad and lived with him for a period of time, but B.B. wanted to be on his own. So he dropped out of school in the 10th grade and began working on a plantation six days a week. He was anxious to settle down and told Rolling Stone, I guess I was looking for love because I'd never had anybody I believed truly loved me. In 1942, 17-year-old B.B. married 17-year-old Martha Lee. Although they wanted to expand their family, things didn't work out as planned. He said, the children from that marriage died very young. We were never lucky with children. He enlisted in the Army, but according to PBS.com, he was discharged after basic training. He returned to farming but realized music was his passion. As his interest in playing the guitar and singing grew, his love for Martha faded away. In 1946, after damaging the landowner's tractor, he fled and left his wife and Mississippi in the dust. He and Martha didn't get legally divorced until a couple of years later. He hitchhiked to Memphis, moved in with his cousin, and got a job at a black radio station where he earned the nickname, The Beale Street Blues Boy. The nickname was eventually shortened to Blues Boy, which was then chopped down to just BB. He added his last name to it and officially became known as B.B. King. With some help from his guitar, which he affectionately named Lucille, he earned his first big hit with the 1951 song, Three O'Clock Blues. His career was on fire from there. B.B. went from being a 10th grade dropout to earning an honorary doctorate degree from Yale University. What do you want to do with your music and with your singing? Play the best that I can reached as many people as can, as many countries. In other words, I'd like the whole world to be able to hear B.B. King sing and play the blues. At some point, he met a college student named Sue Carroll Hall, and they got married in Detroit in 1958, with Aretha Franklin's father officiating the ceremony. They didn't conceive any children together, and nearly a decade after getting married, it all fell apart. B.B. would never marry again. He hit the road and played close to 300 shows per year, meeting various women along the way. Several of these women would later contact him and tell him they were having his baby. According to B.B.'s biographer, Charles Sawyer, B.B. lived his life by this saying, if a woman is pregnant and she says you're the father, the only question to ask is, is it possible? And if it's possible, it's yours. At the time of his passing, B.B. claimed to be the father of 15 children, with the first being born in 1949. There was Shirley, Patty, Ruby, Rita, Michelle, Claudette, Roletta, and Karen, Big Barbara, Little Barbara, Gloria, Robert, Willie, Leonard, and Riley, Jr.
His daughter Shirley told The Hollywood Reporter that every time her dad got more famous, she found out she had a new sister. But were all 15 children, 11 girls, and four boys really his? Four of them had already passed away, but B.B. had no plans on getting a paternity test for his surviving children. And then came surprising news from author Daniel DeVizé, who claimed there was no possible way that B.B. conceived any children during his lifetime. Daniel told the Observer website that after B.B. passed away, he interviewed several people in the musician's inner circle, which included a nephew, B.B.'s ex-wife Sue, and B.B.'s doctor. They all told Daniel the same story. As a child, B.B. was diagnosed with mumps, a viral disease that can cause some shrinkage and swelling down below. And an estimated 1 in 10 men who contract the virus experience a drop in their sperm count. B.B.'s family members also claimed the singer was injured below the belt at the age of 12 when he was attacked by a ram while working on a farm. Because there wasn't a doctor around, the family members claimed the mangled organs were left to mend on their own. Further damage was caused by a sexually transmitted disease he contracted in his late teens. The author noted that during 16 years of marriage combined from his two wives, B.B. didn't father any children, but his wives were able to conceive children with other partners. B.B.'s biographer, Charles Sawyer, stated B.B. let him in on a little secret. During his first marriage, he went to a doctor and took a test, which proved he was infertile. The author said he included that information in the biography, entitled The Arrival of B.B. King. B.B. read the manuscript and signed off on all of the information, including the infertility claim. Those close to the singer stated wherever he would play, there would be family members waiting outside his tour bus, and they would leave with envelopes full of money. His daughter, Patty Elizabeth King, who was born to a woman named Essie Williams in 1957, told Rolling Stone B.B. would visit her about four to five times per year, but only when he was performing in her area. As Patty got older, she had to resort to seeing her dad from behind bars. After she was sentenced for trafficking cocaine, B.B. and his band would go to her prison to perform for her and her fellow inmates. His youngest child, Riley Jr., got caught up in some trouble as well and was sentenced to 18 years for cocaine-related thefts. While his daughter, Patty, didn't blame B.B. for the things she went through in life, Riley was the opposite. He reportedly sent B.B. angry letters from behind bars and blamed him for not doing enough for him during his childhood. They eventually squashed things and B.B. visited Riley behind bars a couple of times a year. Riley was eventually released on parole. In November 2014, his family drama made headlines. His daughter Patty and her husband accused B.B.'s longtime manager, Laverne Tony, of elder mistreatment and burglary. In the police report obtained by TMZ, Patty claimed Laverne had conned B.B. out of 20 to 30 million dollars, withheld his medications while on tour, and stole multiple Rolex watches, and a ring valued at $250,000. The authorities launched a complete investigation, and the messiness continued. Patty got the authorities involved again on April 30, 2015. She told authorities B.B.'s urine was orange and he wasn't eating, and she wanted to get him medical attention ASAP, but Laverne, who was his power of attorney, disagreed. The responding officers took one look at B.B. and called the paramedics. Patty told TMZ that while at the hospital, B.B. suffered a minor heart attack. She took a picture of him while he was being treated and hoped the image would help the still open investigation of elder mistreatment. On May 7, 2015, Patty teamed up with B.B.'s other daughters, Karen and Rita, to protect him and his assets. They filed a case to ask that Karen be appointed B.B.'s guardian. They also brought up more allegations about Laverne stealing B.B.'s money and neglecting his health. They claimed Laverne had blocked them and many of B.B.'s superstar friends, including musicians Willie Nelson, Carlos Santana, and Eric Clapton, from visiting him. They also stated close to $1 million had disappeared from B.B.'s bank accounts. Laverne denied the allegations. 
Laverne's attorney took things to another level by uncovering Karen's birth certificate, which showed that BB wasn't even biologically related to her. Uh, Karen didn't respond to the allegation. A judge declared there was no reason to take power of attorney away from Laverne, and the case was dismissed. BB was released back to his home under hospice care and passed away on May 14, 2015, at the age of 89. Ten days after he passed away, his daughters Karen and Patty announced not only did they believe BB had a second will hidden somewhere, but they also believed Laverne and BB's assistant, Myron, had poisoned him, which led to his premature passing. The coroner later ruled there was no evidence to substantiate the allegations and listed the cause of his passing as multi-infarct dementia, caused by a series of small strokes. Once the results were released, Myron filed a defamation suit against the accusing family members, including Karen, who just so happened to be his half-sister, as they shared the same mom but different dads. The results of the dispute are unknown. Some of BB's children also disputed the size of his estate. According to an analysis conducted by Billboard.com, BB's publishing and recording assets, including his catalog of over 40 albums, were valued at roughly $7 million to $8 million. He also owned multiple properties, including a mansion in Las Vegas, and lent his name to a series of blues clubs that were scattered across the U.S. and on several cruise lines. But Laverne's lawyer claimed his estate wasn't worth as much as people thought. The lawyer added, My guess is the children and grandchildren don't like the fact he's leaving them $3,000 and $5,000 each and then leaving the rest to his lineage for education. BB's children were ready to fight for the money they felt they were owed, even if it meant they would be in litigation for many years to come. In May 2016, The Hollywood Reporter stated three more people, a man and two women, had surfaced, claiming BB was their father as well, which brings the total to 18 children. One of the women stated she had sent BB legal paperwork proving he was her father. His daughter Shirley confirmed BB received the documents, but he told someone to mail them back to the woman because he, quote, wasn't taking no more kids on. As of now, many of his children see BB's passing as a cautionary tale. His daughter Shirley stated, maybe if there wasn't so many kids from so many different parents, it would have been different. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.